What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make tutorials and guides on how to play the piano by ear, how to improvise, and how to sound a little more like a pro on the piano. Today we'll run through a couple of piano runs that are relatively easy to pick up for beginners, how exactly to play these runs, and certain situations where you might want to use them. Once again, for simplicity's sake, this entire video will be in a key of C major, so we do not need to deal with too many black keys. Also, the names of the runs in this video are actually given by me, so do forgive me if the names sound weird, and feel free to call it whatever you want. The first run we'll be looking at will be the ascending run, and here's how it sounds. The first step to playing the ascending run will be to pick an extended chord with preferably 4 notes. Some examples of extended chords that we can use here are major 7 chords, minor 7 chords, or dominant 7 chords. For our example, we will use the C major 7 chord, which consists of C, E, G, and D. The second step to playing the ascending run would be to split the chord into the first note of the chord versus the rest of the notes. The first note of the chord is actually played by our left hand, while the other notes are played by our right hand. For instance, in our example here, C major 7, the first note C is played by our left hand, while the other notes E, G, and D are played by our right hand. The third step to playing the ascending run would be to put the left hand and right hand parts together. For our left hand part, we only need to use our left hand index finger. And for our right hand part, I recommend that we use the 1, 2, 4 fingering. To put the left hand and right hand parts together, we simply play our left hand note first, followed by the 3 notes in our right hand, in a left, right, right, right pattern. Here's how we actually do it. The next run we'll be looking at will be the descending run, and here's how it sounds. The descending run also has a left, right, right, right pattern similar to the ascending run. The first step to playing the descending run will be to first pick a normal chord, preferably with three notes. For our example, we'll use a C major chord which consists of C, E, and G. The second step to playing the descending run will be to play the left hand part first. Here, we start with any note inside the chord. As we are using the C major chord as an example, we can start with either C, E, or G. Also, we have to make sure that it's high enough on our piano so we've got space to run and descend. Next, using our left hand index finger, we play the notes in the chord in a descending manner, like this. The third step to playing the descending run will be to add the right hand part. Once again, for every note that our left hand plays, our right hand will play three notes afterwards. The three notes are an inversion of our chord that ends with the note played with our left hand in a descending manner. For instance, if our left hand plays an E, our right hand needs to play a C major inversion that ends with an E, and naturally we get C, G, E. If our left hand plays a C, our right hand needs to play a C major inversion that ends with a C, and naturally we get G, E, and C. And if our left hand plays a G, our right hand needs to play a C major inversion that ends with a G. And naturally, we get E, C, and G. In a way, we combine our left hand and right hand parts to become a unit, and we descend down the piano in units. Now, let's move on to some ways that we can actually use these runs in practice. Firstly, we can use these runs in the introduction of songs in order to hype it up. Here is one such example. In this run, I combine the ascending run with the descending run. The ascending run using the E dominant 7 chord, while the descending run using the B diminished 7 chord. Also, over here, I use a triplet variation of the descending run, which is actually 1.5 times faster than normal. 
For those of you who are not very familiar with triplets, a triplet basically means playing three notes in a space of two, and essentially multiplying your playing speed by 1.5. As such, I highly encourage you to find different ways to add these runs to your song introductions, be it your own compositions or existing songs. Another way that we can use these runs is to fill in the spaces in our songs or improvisations. Here is an example of a simple improvisation in the standard C, F, G, C chord progression. Notice that the parts where the melody is taking a rest and not playing, I fill it in with runs in order to make it less spacious. In this example, I use three different ascending runs based on the three chords, C second, F second, and G second. As long as a chord has four notes, the ascending run should kind of work. As such, I highly encourage you to explore different ways to add in these runs to fill in the spaces in your playing. As for how to practice and get good at these runs, I highly recommend that you do not try to start off playing fast. Instead, start off playing very slowly and pick up speed along the way as you get more comfortable. Remember to be consistent and let the muscle memory do the work for you. Also, another way to practice and get good at these runs would be to try the same runs with different chords. By doing this, you are familiarizing yourself with how each run works and this can drastically shorten the time you take to apply these runs to new chords. With that, thanks for watching and I hope this video has provided value for you in some way. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!